What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up one of these uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collections Charizard. Yeah, I'm a fan of Charizard, I am a fan of Pokemon products, although, yes, this is mainly a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, I open up some Digimon whenever that comes out, which there are some new stuff coming out soon, so we're going to do some openings on that. And of course, too, I do actually collect Pokemon, I'm a fan of Pokemon, I'm looking forward to the new games. I, uh, like every game, by the way, I always start with the fire Pokemon, so that's why Charizard's one of my favorites, I know. Not too original, probably, because Charizard is one of the most popular, but I can't help it. I love Charizard. My favorite Pokemon, though, of all time is Typhlosion, so especially if they made one of these of Typhlosion, that would be awesome. I still want, like, a Mega Typhlosion or something, but, yeah, I thought this was a really cool product. It was a product, too, that is relatively expensive. What are these, like... Um, they're over 100 bucks. I, I want to say it was like 150 is what I paid or something. I think MSRP is closer to 120, but they're getting so hard to find already that even pre-ordering them, you pay a little bit extra. And I think it's a really cool product. And again, since I paid that much, I was like, let's make a video of it at the very least, right? <laughs> Instead of just opening it, because me and my wife open up a lot of Pokemon product, but we don't always record it. Here's the back of the box, too. You get, like, some Charizard promo cards. You get a bunch of booster packs and some dice and sleeves and a playmat and just a lot of really cool stuff. So let's go on ahead, open this up, and see what we get. And, of course, if you want to see more Pokemon openings, let me know. Because I don't mind doing them every so often. Would I ever switch mainly to Pokemon? Not really. It's a fun collecting thing. I don't enjoy the game of Pokemon, like the card game, as much as I do Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I do really enjoy the video games, obviously. So I've always thought about doing some kind of Let's Play thing or live streaming some of them or something. If I were to do some kind of Let's Play, though, or something, it'd probably be on, a you know, another channel kind of thing. But I thought about maybe trying to live stream this game. It looks pretty good from what we've seen. I mean, there's supposed to be a lot of co-op and stuff, so I'm looking forward to being able to play the game with my wife. So some of my friends, too. It looks like four people can basically team up. All right, so what do we have here? Is it, yeah, it's magnetic. Opens up just like that. That's really nice looking. Gotta say, I am always jealous of Charizard getting all the coolest stuff because, again, I'm more of a Typhlosion guy. So here, I believe, is the playmat. We'll get to that here in a second. And then you have different drawers for, like, your different stuff in them. So we'll go to these first, I feel like. So first off, have some packs and one of our Charizard promos. I don't know if they're all there. Maybe they're all in that one. Then more packs. I think it's like 12 or 15 in total. I know it's a lot. Which it should be at that price. Um, there's nothing in that. It's our coin. Uh, yeah, it's not in there. Okay. Are we missing a coin? Oh, there it is. It was just amongst the packs. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. It is a Charizard metal coin. If it will focus, you can kind of see Charizard's head. It's pretty tough to see. I think that happened to me last time too because I got like the Zacian and Zamazenta one. And I, the packaging did not have the coin, but it was still in there at least. And there's the V-Star coin to this kind of like the Elite Trainer Box one. I don't think there's anything special off that one. I guess I'll get rid of that. And then we have some more coins and stuff. Have our sleeves, which look pretty nice. I like that kind of Charizard on there because it kind of looks a little bit more realistic, I would say. And then you have your coins on this, like your... Uh, paralyzing one and poison and all that kind of stuff. Packaging's not hold them too well, though. They are metal, and they're actually kind of heavy, so... Really cool, actually. And then, yeah, even with the dice, they've all come out of this. I don't like how they package these. They, they need to work on that a little bit better, because, yeah, I think I picked them all up. But, yeah, it's like, this is empty. It's supposed to have all the dice in it. Well, here they are. Basically, it's all your damage counters and stuff. And uh, they're metal, so they're heavy, and they come out of that bag. So then you do something different, because that's happened too many times. All right, so let's go ahead and get the playmat set up, and then we'll get everything here to get to opening, basically. All right, here we go. Go ahead and reveal our playmat. It's a little bit smaller than a Yu-Gi-Oh! size playmat, as you guys can see. I have the one from, uh, what was it, New York Comic Con that was up front. And the Charizard one is slightly smaller around all dimensions, basically. So... Yeah, if you're looking for something a little bigger, this might not be the playmat for you. It does look cool, though. I mean, again, it's that same artwork from the sleeves. It's Charizard. It looks really nice. I don't know if Pokemon really uses smaller playmats, because I've seen some other playmats that are the exact same size as Yu-Gi-Oh!, so I'm not too sure if that's a negative or a positive. 
I like having more room than than I possibly need kind of thing. So I like bigger play mats. So that's just my two cents on it. Extra room is always a good thing. And let's get these promos. There we go. I don't know if I'll use the code or not. So there, someone wants to grab it. We have our Charizard V, which this looks amazing. I love this art. Then, of course, Charizard V Max. That's the same one from the playmat. The sleeves, all that. And then Charizard V Star, where it's him fighting Mewtwo, which again is just sick looking. When I saw these, I was like, I need it. <laughs> you know, that that kind of sealed it for me. It's like, dang, I need that now. So, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, let's go with our packs here. We'll see what we get. I'm not going to do the card trick and all that. We're just going to go through our packs and hopefully get something cool, right? I'll put those in sleeves here in a second, too, on those Charizards. I'll leave them alone for now. Save time in the video. Okay, we got Murkrow. Shepit. I like that Shepit. <laughs> His tongue sticking out. C Dot. We have Toolbox and Hoopa. Okay, kind of cool. You guys can have the codes, by the way. There you go. I don't play the online game. I did a little back in the day, but I haven't played it in quite a while. So, I don't really care too much for the codes. Oh, Growlithe. Darkrai. Comfey. Seedra is kind of cool. One of my old favorites. Oh, Fusion Strike. I haven't had too much luck with Fusion Strike. That's the one where I, uh, it has the Espeon, and I really want the Espeon, because that's my favorite evolution. The Espeon Max, where he's, like, sleeping on the house. I really want that one. We have Krogunk. And, aw, Sinuscorch. We have some more chances, though, so. Another Fusion Strike. Just hope for something awesome. Harder the cards. I know, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, but still, harder the cards always works, so. Ooh, it might have, too. Gligar and... Oh, dude, I don't think I have this one. We have Bolton uh, VMAX. Well, there you go. I have basically a binder full of my full arts, you know, <laughs> and, and some promos and stuff, too. So uh, there's another one for the collection, basically. Again, my wife and I really collect a lot of Pokemon cards, even though I know how to play the card game. I just uh, don't really play it as much. So that is awesome. Well, there we go. I'm glad we actually got something. I was, I was hoping we wouldn't go through like the whole box. I think, what was it, Leonhardt, I think, that opened up his. And I don't even know if he got anything that great. Unfortunate. You know, it happens. <laughs> it happened plenty of times with Yu-Gi-Oh with me, so... I feel bad for him on it, because, you know, it's a cool product, and you're getting it for the Charizard stuff, but you want to get stuff from your packs, you know? I think we have something there. You can kind of see. Slug me again. Hariyama. And Genesect V. I'll take that, too. I like Genesect. And there's that. But yeah, Genesect always looks cool. He's a uh, one of the coolest looking like newer legendaries. All right, Astral Radiance. We could get possibly our Typhlosion, our new Typhlosion. I don't mind the new Typhlosion too much. I would have rather a Mega Typhlosion. But yeah, I'm just happy he was part of uh, Arceus. So, Miss Magius, Mightyena. So at least it gave me some new Typhlosion stuff, basically. I'm kind of more of a second generation person. That's where I got more into Pokemon. So, Johto means the most to me. Because my first game was Silver. And then I started, I went backwards and started playing the old games. So, Ralts, Arena, or Rita, I guess. I don't know how you say that. Keldeo, though. I'll take that. It's a hollow, at least. Uh, Evolving Skies. One of my favorite sets. This is my wife's favorite set, for sure. We buy it every time we see it. <laughs> for better or worse, because we want to get all those evolutions. I've had pretty good luck. I feel like I've gotten most of the stuff. Toy Catcher and Florges. Okay, I'll take that. I think the only thing we are missing is, of course, the really expensive one now. At the time, it wasn't, but that Umbreon. It's like $500. Yeah. My wife has even pulled the Rayquaza three times from the set, the most expensive Rayquaza. Whenever it was more expensive than Umbreon as well. I wish I would have just turned around and bought Umbreons then. <laughs> I think we have... Oh, we have something, I think. Yeah. Dialga and... 
Oh, Jolteon VMAX. I'll take that. I don't know if we have that. I'll have to check. There you go. But yeah, the goal is always to get more evolutions for the binder. So there we go. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Yeah, I think one of my goals mainly is I've been working on this binder for a while, even before I was married. And I would like to have like several Pokemon binders with full full arts and stuff. And I want to be able to, and I know this is going to sound kind of sappy, but eventually we're going to want to have kids. I'm hoping, you know, it'll probably be within the next couple of years or so. And uh, I have Pokemon, I'm sure, will be just as popular, and I want to be able to share this with my kids. So that's what I'm hoping for. Again, sounds kind of sappy, I know. But just like with my Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff, too, it's just I know Pokemon will be easier. Like They'll probably like the games and stuff a little bit more, and they might get to that a little bit easier than Yu-Gi-Oh! Because we keep getting more rules. Ooh, Cyndaquil. Uh, Mantine. Although we're starting to get more Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise. It's just that Pokemon, you know, has so many toys and different things. Yu-Gi-Oh! really doesn't. Which makes me sad. I would buy all the toys. <laughs> but it's so much easier for kids to get into Pokemon now more than Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be, you know, when I was younger, had plenty of stuff. But not as much as it used to. I want more for sure. Lantern. Tropius. But you can bet. I'm definitely... I want my kid to know basically every card game. Magic, all of them. I want to be able to play them all with them. That's the goal. Hopefully my kid doesn't, you know, they're not like, I don't want any card games. Then, then I'll die on the inside. <laughs> that, that's what will happen then. Castform, Chimchar, Starmie. Oh, we got something. Okay, what do you got here? And Cynthia's Ambition. Dang. Oh, there you go. We got the main waifu, right? I don't know if this rainbow one is as crazy. I know anything with Cynthia is usually a little tough to get, you know, for reasons. <laughs> but that is awesome. I definitely don't have this one yet. Well, there you go. Hyper rare, I think, is technically... I've heard them called rainbow rares a lot, so I go with that. I think Leon Hart goes with both. You know, he's called them both. And he's really one of the few Pokemon YouTubers I really watch anymore, so... Used to be mainly just Jay Wits, but I don't think he's uploaded in a little while. Or YouTube just doesn't want to show me videos. Who knows? We have Talo. Don Fan. I like Don Fan. Oh, yeah, and tell me if you guys get any good cards from, like, these codes, by the way. I don't mind you guys using them. Just let me know. I mean, if you get, like, something really cool, I like to hear that kind of stuff. <laughs> It's like when I do giveaways and stuff, too. I'm like, tell me what you got. I, I want to know. <laughs> I think we got something else. We have Clink and Shaman V. Okay. That's pretty cool. I think my wife will like that one. I had to explain who Shaman was the other day to her. She never really played those games at all. What was Shaman? Yeah, that was Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. She didn't get into that one as much. I think her favorite, though, that she's played, which one? I think it was the remakes of Hoenn, basically, and for the 3DS, so. Whooper, I love that. Ferrothorn, and? Oh, dude! What in the world? Oh, man, that's, that's actually the giant Pikachu! Oh, dude, I think that's really good to get. That, that was Vivid Voltage, wasn't it? I think... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. I, yeah, I think that was Vivid Voltage. We got Fat Pikachu. I think it's supposed to be really... It wouldn't matter to me if it's... Honestly, if it was $100 or a dollar, it probably wouldn't matter to me because I'm, I'm going to want to keep this card. I'll, I'll be real. So, <laughs> price-wise, I don't pay attention to, to Pokemon as much. Just that number because I want it. And that's 500 and, uh. <laughs> That's the reason I knew that one. But, dude... That is sick! <laughs> I can't believe we got that! I'm having some, I feel like, insane luck with this, am I? Let me know! Or is it, is, again, is it like a dollar card and I'm freaking out over nothing? It's very possible, but again, I'm happy with it, so it's worth it to me. Uh, Brilliant Stars, we'll go with that. We'll leave Darkness Ablaze for our last one. I think you have a chance of Charizard with that? I don't know, maybe we could end with Charizard. We've done so well, I don't know what to even ask for. I think we're good. <laughs> I feel like I've done good. Let's see, we have Execute and Torterra. Okay, I'll take a Torterra. It's actually one of my favorite starters. And there you go. 
Even though I'm more of the fire starter guy, there are some grass starters and stuff too. I like, like Trico as well. And last pack. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. I don't know. Also, like and all that too if you're enjoying the video. I really hope you guys are. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content too. Like I said, I doubt we'll ever just go completely to Pokemon or anything because I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh too much. But I do like variety. And I think we have something here, actually. I think I kind of spoiled myself. Yeah, we are really can't. And we ended with a hollow. There you go. We have Butterfree V. I like that one, too. I actually got a shiny Butterfree the other day So on Pokemon Go. So that is awesome. Well, there you go. I'll take that for sure, too. And, yeah, I mean, this was a really good box for me. Again, I, I saw Leonhard. I don't even know if he got, I don't think he got, may, maybe he got one of the V cards, but I don't think he got any full arts or anything. Like, his wasn't very good luck. Mine ended up being really good. So, again, it's just kind of random on that. You really can't think about what the possibility is on your pack. So, really, if you're going to buy this product, it's for the Charizard stuff. Otherwise, it's really not worth it. You know, you have to be someone that wants the Charizard stuff. And if you're a fan of that, Cool. I mean, that's the reason I got it. Again, though, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting me blab and all that kind of stuff, too. I, I think we did amazing. I'm definitely happy with it. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.